Hello, this is quite different to the normal content. Um, I'm here with my friend Indy Hello. at Royal Oak Tube Station Royal. and we're going to be doing the Zone 1 Tube Challenge today. So we are by no means experts on the underground. I'm sure there's a much quicker route that could be done. Um, but this is the route that we're going to be taking. So past me does a pretty bad job of explaining the route that we took. So I'm going to try and do a better one here. But uh, a quick side note is that uh, we filmed the video on the 1st of April um, and now in recording, uh, or rather editing it, um, it is after Cross Trail has opened, meaning the Elizabeth Line is on this map that I've uh, handily put up for you. Um, but when we did the challenge, the Elizabeth Line wasn't open, so I don't know if that would have strategized the route change a little bit, but um, we didn't take that into account because um, the route wasn't open. Uh, however, um, I will now try and do a better job of explaining this route. So we started at Royal Oak, as mentioned previously, and went one stop to Paddington, where the challenge began. Um, then went across the concourse up to the Bakerloo line and took it all the way down to Elephant and Castle, um, and then had to backtrack on ourselves into a bit of an awkward bit here, um, where there were lots of interchanges, because we then took it down to Battersea, the not-so-new extension on the Northern line back to Kennington and then two stops down to Stockwell before taking the Victoria Line all the way to Kings Cross and Pancras, the Northern Line a couple stops to Moorgate, and then pretty much the entirety of the Circle Line going clockwise round to its terminus at Edgware Road. Um, and then, then we took the Hamsworth and City Line uh, all the way to Whitechapel and then took the Overground to Canada Water. Um, and from there uh, we took the Jubilee Line to Waterloo um, and then after this we take in every single line from Waterloo, we took the Waterloo and City, um, that's all four of them, uh, to Bank, and then took uh, the Central Line all the way to Notting Hill Gate. Yes, we know that it's quicker to get out at Queensway and walk to Bayswater, but we didn't know the route, you know, we hadn't actually planned if we, where we were going to walk from there, so we just took the district to Earls Court from Notting Hill Gate, and then the Piccadilly Line all the way to Russell Square before backtracking on ourselves to uh, Leicester Square on the penultimate train and then going to Goode Street to finish. But hang on, there's still one station left. Now the rules of the challenge are quite simple. Uh, you need to visit every station in zone one. Um, in this case, it's 65. Um, and that's because of the new Northern Line extension happening. Uh, not extension, sorry, the work done at Bank. Uh, which means that four stations on the Northern Line um, via Bank will not be running. Um, and for Bank, London Bridge and Elephant and Castle, that is okay because we can change to another line from there. However, at Borough, you're not able to do that because there's no other interchanges. So unfortunately, this won't be an official time because we won't be able to do Borough. Um, but it's as simple as the first train we get on, which will be coming in here pretty soon, the timer starts when the doors close, and then the time will stop at Good Street when we put our foot down on the platform right there. So let's get on the train that we're coming up the hill very shortly. Yeah. Um, okay, so we are at Lambeth North, uh, that bit between Lambeth North and Elephant and Castle. So final stop, uh, Elephant and Castle is our stop. Um, so yeah, the final stop is ours. Um, it depends if there's a train on the other platform or not, we might run. Uh, if there's no train on the other platform, we'll see which platform's leaving first and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Closing. We are at Elephant and Castle. Uh, about to go two stops back to Waterloo. Nice. The, line, the train now approaching is to Edgeware. Clear. Alex did it actually.
agencies and services. Okay. Yeah, this train was about to depart. Please mind the doors. Okay, we've just had an we just had an awful connection. Didn't realise the train was right down here. Okay. Uh, okay, go. Uh, You're right. These trains are only. When hang, this is to modern. This is to modern. What? Hey. Where's this one going? This is a southbound service calling all stations to modern. Okay. Trains ready to depart by the closing doors. Go, we are, it is going to go. I'm so confused because the sign. The sign said that left was to Morden and right was to Battersea. Gosh. So weird. Customer information. For your own personal safety, please stand by. Currently at Moorgate Station, uh, and the next three trains we need to get a circle line, and none of them are to, uh, none of them are circle lines. The first one is to Aldgate, the second one's to Barking, and the third one's to Aldgate. So that's a really, really poor connection because we must have just missed one. Um, and the next one will be going to Edgeway Road, hopefully. Uh, we've still got to wait about 10 minutes, which is really, really annoying. If we that the the um, Northern Line train it just pulled in and there were so many people there. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be get, getting them on soon and we'll be able to to take that all the way to Edgware Road. Uh, that's about halfway done, I think. So we should be able to get in four hours, hopefully. There are two different Paddingtons, because this one is called Parade Street, and this one is Bishop's Road. We started here, and went to the Bakerloo Line at Bishop's Road, but the two Paddingtons were actually built as separate stations. This Paddington, by the District Metropolitan District Railway, and this Paddington by the Metropolitan Railway. And that's why there are two Paddingtons in two different places. We are pulling into uh, Edgware Road Station, uh, and I think, uh, what's the time currently? What are we on? Uh, sorry, yeah, we're going to have a look at uh, what our time is right now. Um, yes, that's our time. Two minutes, 14 minutes, uh, two hours, 14 minutes. Um, about one minute to the current world record. Um, and we're about, I'd say we're about 50% 50, 50 through, so our target of being done by four hours should hopefully work. Uh, we'll get out here at Edgware Road, it's going to be difficult to see what platform we're going to be on, and then it's the H and C all the way to Whitechapel. We'll see you then. Okay. Wait, wrong platform. So it might just be over, or we might have to go over to the other side. Okay, there we go. The platform. 
Uh, no, that's the Hammersmith Smith Squad. It's snowing. This one. Is it, is it really it's snowing? snowing? It's crazy. <laughs> Seven minutes. Oh my gosh. Just missed the connection there. It's awful. Went to the same side. Same platform. Yeah. Two different ends of the same platform. Over there. Two different ends of that same platform. It's so annoying. Just missed a train. Okay. Overground to Juba. Okay, we're down there, down there. That means later. You go first. Customer information. Is that us? Yes, it is. Yes, that's us. Okay, perfect connection. It's beautiful. Okay. Indy, do you want to do you want to talk him through what happened at Waterloo? Hey, hey, okay. So, okay, we're at we're on the Waterloo and City line at Waterloo, road to bank. We got on the Jubilee line at, <laughs> at Canada Water. So crowded. So when we got off. You know, we <laughs> there were like so many people in the way that we had to get past. Um, but we're now on the stretch. It was completely empty from Waterloo to Bank. It was beautiful. Um, now on the stretch to Waterloo and Bank. We're going to take the central line. I'm guessing, yeah, it's three o'clock. It's going to be really busy too. Um, we're going to take that all the way to Notting Hill Gate. We'll change on the district line to do the return journey on the Piccadilly. And they're almost done. See you there. Those says there even? Are they gonna oh yeah, you know, those says there, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, um it's going to put yeah. Oh one minute, perfect. It's good we made a good connection there. Uh what's the oh god the stick. Okay, that's right. steps to Russell Square, um, three step stops back to Leicester Square, and then take the Northern Line at two stops to Good Street to finish our run. We'll see you then. Right, this is Russell Square. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Not a good start. Okay, just straight to the other Piccadilly. Uh, yeah. Oh, where's that going to be? Oh, we just missed it. Please speak to the staff. This is the shortest distance between two stations, so we're going to time it. stops and it's done. Final station. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Stop! I'm taking a screenshot. And that's it. Time? 4 hours 25 minutes. 54 seconds. 60 milliseconds. There we go. Yeah, we're going there. Challenge completed. Every single station in zone one. That's crazy. There we go. We need to go to the other track now and take the train home. Uh, we're gonna backtrack on ourselves now and take the train back home. And what to do? It's right here. We're gonna be taking this train home. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and we'll see you next time.